Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Marcos and today we're going to take a quick look at this new Motorola. It's called the Moto G Play, the 2021 version. It just launched uh, the first week of February. So we're going to check it out, see what it's all about. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video as it helps out the channel, helps people find it more. So let's get started. All right, so what do we get in the box? We get a couple... Uh, guides and maybe warranty stuff from motorola sim card slot opener we get the phone itself and we also get a charger with a usb type c uh port so really good so that should support fast charging and here's the phone itself nice blue color front screen let me turn it on and i'll tell you more about the specs on it so what do we get from the moto g play from motorola this year we do get a SIM card slot opener here on the left side. On the bottom, we do get a, a Type-C port, some speakers, a microphone hole. On the right side, we do have the volume rocker and the power button. On the top, we do have the headphone jack and another microphone. Front screen, we also get a 6.5 Max Vision HD Plus display. That's what they call it. Uh, front facing camera, we do get a five megapixel camera. In the back, we do have two cameras, dual cameras. One's a 13 megapixel camera as being the main camera and a two megapixel camera with a flash. We also have the fingerprint sensor right here built into the back cover with this beautiful blue, kind of two-tone blue. Uh, it is like a plastic um, back. It feels pretty good, pretty good quality. Under the hood, we do have a, a, snap, a Snapdragon processor with three gigs of RAM. We also have 32 gigs of built-in memory. We also get a 5,000 milliamp battery that according to Motorola, it should last about three days, about 50 hours, which is really good. And now let's check out some music, see how loud it is. Check out some videos, see how, how good the, the HD display looks and see if we can try out some Call of Duty, see how good it plays for us. So let's check that out. Right, so for video test, let's try our 4K video, see how good it looks with this 6.5 Max Vision display. Let's turn out the volume, see how good it sounds. Sounds only coming from down here. Screen looks beautiful. Colors look good. Sound is uh, not super loud, but it's it's good. Not bad for a hundred sixty dollar phone. So really nice display, nice colors. All right, so now let's see if we can try out some music, see how loud it is, and check it out. Hopefully, this music's free of copyright. So let's go. Definitely not the loudest, but it's smooth. Sounds good. Not bad. Very smooth sound and good quality. It doesn't sound bad. Let's do the Call of Duty test. See how good it plays with the Snapdragon 3 gigs of RAM. Sound looks sounds is good. Speaker's pretty loud. See if we can run around and shoot somebody. Display's awesome. Fit, fit, fits good in the hand. Let's see. Where are you going? So gameplay smooth, not much lag on it. Uh, you can tell the, the graphics are a little pixelated there, but it's also mobile, so let's see if we can shoot somebody else. 
So for gaming, I think it'll, it'll still do the cut as the processor it's not too slow. I think if we had like a two gig processor, it would be too slow, but here, this one's not bad. Take my killer drone. Who am I playing with? Timmy No Thumbs? Can't even shoot me. Solid gameplay, so very nice display, very nice phone, good sound. So I think it does good for gaming. Oh, that was me. Go home, Timmy. All right, there's not much out here, but let's see if we can take a picture, test out the camera. So we have them pines, them pines are over there. We have a little glare from the backlight, but let's see if we can zoom in. So we can zoom in. We can zoom in really close to those pines, so it makes them very little. So good, good zoom from the from the camera, not bad. We can also change the ratio of the picture, I believe, uh, somehow. I think, oh, we can change the ratio right here. So if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to change, let me see if I can do it with one hand. Uh, come on, oh, right here. If you wanted to take a bigger picture, you would just press that aspect ratio and then the picture will be like this. And then if you wanted to go like this, you would take a bigger picture and then you can change the aspect ratio down here. And you can also change the brightness. So decent camera, like I said, it's an entry level phone. So the camera is not a big focus on these phones usually, but I think you can do with this camera. So front facing camera, let's see if we can check it out real quick. Uh, video, no, we wanna do front facing. So front facing camera, there I am here at the shop. One thing I like about the front facing camera would be like the portrait mode as it blurs out everything in the back. So let's say I'm right here, it's blurring out everything in the back. So kind of gives it like a blur. Let's see if we can go back, see if we can it'll blur out like the stuff in the back. So can you smell what the rock's cooking? So pretty much entry level phone. All right guys, so that was it. Quick unboxing and walkthrough of the Moto G Play 2021 version. Like I said, this phone retails for 160 uh, at Metro by T-Mobile. It's free when you switch over. Um, solid device. You get two cameras, fingerprint sensor, 6.5 HD max vision display, uh, decent sound, and 32 gigs of memory. So I think it's a great entry-level device at Metro. And for the unlocked version, I think it's not bad as well. So I uh, just want to do a quick unboxing, let you know that this phone just launched. And uh Please drop a like as it helps out the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.